off of the cowslips. Maybe later you'll buy some meat in the field with the cows and you and me. Considering that it's been out in the woods for probably 20 years or more. Is we've replaced the tires, so the hubs still look pretty good. So we're just going to leave those alone. The tubing that we had, and using that to uh, reinforce the trailer to put a welder generator on um, on the farm a little easier. Are pretty thin. These are just little. Uh, right angle pieces of steel that they've welded across here. Looks like this was a pretty light duty trailer that they had here. So, beams lengthwise here, and then run some cross beams right here along above the axle. So, we don't have to do a ton to the actual frame, just a little cleanup work. Get to welding the new steel in place. I finished cutting up the main supports, so I'm going to start welding these two cross beams in. Because if you can see right here in the middle of the trailer, that support right there has been bent. So, I'm going to have to start on either end here and straighten the middle back out. So I'm going to weld that one in place and then this rear one right here I'm going to weld flush to the back of the trailer and then work my way through the middle of it and try and straighten everything back out. So once I get a reference point right here for how square everything else is supposed to be I'm going to come back in here with a sledgehammer and straighten it back out. So I'm going to use a, a MIG welder right there. First to tack these in place and just make sure I got them where I want them. And I'm going to go ahead and weld everything in place and then start working towards the middle. So I have all of the crossbars and everything tacked into place. That back one right there is permanently welded in place, um, so that's what I'm using for my bases to square everything else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here and those crossbars underneath. I'm going to start trying to square those back up using that big C clamp right there. So I have these long bars right here. Use those to make sure everything was level. When I was getting these center pieces welded. So everything is flush with those, so we can just set the work right on top of it. So these end pieces right here, just tacked into place right now. I'm gonna check and make sure those are square. They should be because they were square before I started welding, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and check them, make sure they're square before I permanently weld them into place. Thank <laughs> you.